Hey everyone, it's Michelle. As I start off my Christmas video, I head to Richmond to pick up my little sister. We head to the mall to pick up some clothes for her, and we grabbed a couple of snacks along the way. While I'm waiting for the cake to bake, I'll just be reading some general questions you guys have about engineering. How hard do I have to study? And for that one, I know that it really depends on the individual. For myself, I study a couple of hours a day and I kind of amp it up when it's more exam season. But I do not study 24 seven because I think I probably go crazy. And for me, I need to find a good environment. So I can't study at home because I would get distracted with all my technology. So I head to corner fourth floor and it's such a nice place because it's so quiet and you have really nice table space. And also I don't show you when it, I'm getting tired because I really get nothing done. And also I usually make a list of all the things I'm going to be do in the week and I would buffer my time within a deadline. And I know that this really helped me when I take breaks, go on walks and just to get up and move, it really does help kind of make the blood flow to your brain much better. Um, and that's what helps me get through the year. And another frequently asked question is, are there really no girls in engineering? And that is not true. There are girls in engineering. Um, and UBC has been always trying to make it so that we encourage more girls to apply. And just know you have a lot of support at UBC, so do not worry about um, having no support here. And another question is, what are some EUS events? And around uh, Christmas time, actually during the last year of school, uh, EUS always hosts the annual caroling where we go around and we carol all across campus. I'll actually insert a clip right now. question comes in from Ahanasi. She says, hey, I just watched your video and I've been planning on doing biomedical engineering as an undergraduate. I am more inclined towards biology and chemistry. Is there a major in biomedical engineering that is more inclined towards biology and chemistry rather than physics and math? I would love to know. In an engineering degree, um, math and physics is quite important. However, we also have in biomedical engineering a path called cellular bioengineering that is also focused on chemi chemistry and biology so that um, we'll be able to answer your question and also don't forget to check out the chemical and biological engineering discipline we also have and I'll also be linking that down below for you um, and it's both really really great disciplines so definitely look at all your options.